He's a listener and a communicator, and he is hitting the ground running, learning about the Diocese of Brooklyn and the people in it. I had the opportunity to speak one on one with Bishop designate Robert Brennan right before his joint news conference, a New Yorker through and through. I began by asking him how it feels to be coming home. It's exciting. It's exciting. Um, I have to say that there's a little bit of a sense of sadness leaving Columbus. I really came to love the Diocese of Columbus the, um, and I'm going to miss people there an awful lot but uh, it, it is nice to be back uh, closer to family. Um, I'm fairly familiar with the Diocese of Brooklyn as a neighbor and I know that it's a wonderful, wonderful church here, a very vibrant church and I look forward to being part of it and to serving it as your bishop. As of 2008, the Diocese of Columbus had close to 300,000 Catholics. The Diocese of Brooklyn has 1.5 million. So how do you prepare to be the shepherd of such a large flock? I always used to say in Columbus that um, I came from a diocese, Rockville Center, with 1.5 million Catholics in two counties to a diocese with 300,000 in 23 counties. And uh, now it's back to 1.5 in two counties. So. Uh, I have a little bit of familiarity with that kind of density, although I also understand that we're in 180 square miles, so we're packed in tight around here, and that's, that's exciting. And how are the dioceses the same? What did you learn there that you'll bring here? What's the same is that God's people are good, God's people are generous, God's people are holy, and there's just a level of faith and love for God that motivates everything we do. What's the only thing that's constant is the real presence of Jesus Christ. You know, all of us, we realize, I realize this very humbly, um, that we come and go. So, you know, I'm but a passing memory in Columbus, be, uh, much to my surprise. But the real presence, the, the real permanence is in Jesus Christ. And I just love the way they celebrated the life of faith in Columbus, and I know that I'm going to love the way that we celebrate the life of faith here in Brooklyn, Queens. The Diocese of Brooklyn is known as the Diocese of Immigrants. We have masses said every day in 33 different languages, and while we celebrate that, what will you do to unify the people? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure I need to do an awful lot to unify all the people. I think that there's already this tremendous sense of unity in, in the faith. Um, I think that Bishop Damasio and the bishops before him and the, all of the uh, priests and deacons and staff, the religious have done, and, and lay people have just done an, a, a remarkable job of that unity. So my job is really to continue to encourage it, to build on that, to celebrate it. Um, we've got some really good things. Again, just as what's the same between Columbus and Brooklyn is what keeps us together in our 33 different languages. The real presence of Jesus Christ, the love of God who created us in his own image and likeness. How important is communication in evangelization? It's essential. I mean, it, the word evangelization is communication. It's communicating the good news of Jesus Christ, co communicating um, it, the, the gospel. So communication will be key. Across the country, fewer people are going to church. I know you had a program in your diocese called Real Presence, Real Future, a listening program. How will you get people back to the church? Yes. Well, in Columbus, and, and this is part of the sense of loss, we had just undertaken that program, Real Presence, Real Future. And it's a, uh, it's a program of planning, long-term planning for the future of the diocese. Um, now, Columbus has its own needs, Brooklyn, Queens, we have our own needs. So the first thing I need to do is, is to learn. But Real Presence, Real Future in Columbus was about listening. Now we're about to begin here the synod process. So the, uh, I'm going to walk in. Bishop Damasio was telling me some of the things that are being contemplated here. It works very, very well with my arrival. So I'm going to come in and have the gift of being able to hear from God's holy people in um, the different deaneries, the 22 deaneries that comprise the Diocese of Brooklyn. We want to get to know you a little. Tell us, what do you do in your spare time? You know, what are you excited for here in New York City? I'm glad to be closer to my family. Um, although a couple of my friends have already texted me this morning and said it's probably about uh, the same distance to get 
there at the same time to get there by driving as coming by plane from Ohio <laughs> with the traffic. <laughs> Unfortunately, right. <laughs> but um, uh, I'll be more family centered kinds of things. Um, and um, one of the things I did miss was the ocean and love to be down by the ocean again. And Bishop Designate Brennan joked that this was a bad time to give up carbs. Bishop Brennan will be heading back to Columbus this weekend, but he'll be back for his installation mass on Tuesday, November 30th at 2 p.m. at the Co-Cathedral of St. Joseph in Brooklyn. Currents News will have live coverage. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.